if you want more information about the products or if you want more information about the longevity business, you can always call Phyllis and Andy at 866-735-2470. 866-735-2470. So the body has must must haves it has needs there's a recipe for making a great body there's things we got to include just like when you're baking a cake you got to have the eggs you got to have the sugar you got to have the flour etc you got to have the ingredients to make a great cake the human body is the same way and it needs ingredients you've got to have certain ingredients to have a great body there's just no getting around it you have to have very 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 small amounts of sugars you've got to have greater amounts of complex sugars the kinds that you find in vegetables and certain fruits you have to have generous amounts of good fats and essential fats, especially the uh, hard to find fats like omega 3s and a lot of the easier to find omega 6s. And you gotta have easy to process protein. And then, of course, you need vitamins and minerals and good bacteria for the colon. That's what the human body wants. The need for sugar is so important that there is wiring in the brain hard wiring that we are born with that's going to keep us searching for and eating sugar whenever it's around. This hard wiring in the brain makes us sugar seeking machines. It's like a program that comes built in with uh, with your computer, with our brain computer. It's a program that comes built in with our brain computer and it's akin to the programs that come in built into your hard drive when you buy your computer at Best Buy. This hard wiring in the brain was necessary when there wasn't a lot of sugar available. The brain runs on sugar and for most of our history there just wasn't any sugar around. So this sugar seeking behavior was a survival behavior. It was important for our survival. Unfortunately with the introduction of animal husbandry and agriculture 12,000 or so years ago our eating environment changed and it changed fast. Much faster than the human genetic ability to adjust. What happened 10,000 or 12,000 years ago is human beings figured out how to keep a steady supply of sugar in the form of wheat and rye and barley and grains in our environment. It figured out how to keep a steady supply of sugar in the form of grains in our environment. When this happened, all of a sudden there was a lot of sugar around and in combination with our sugar-seeking brain program, we started to eat a lot of sugar and we started to get really sick. When we went from a wild hunter-gatherer environment with very little sugar to a farming environment and where most of our calories began to come from sugar within the span of a mere 10,000 or 12,000 years, we became really, really sick. And the same thing occurred with fat. The body's needs for fats are tightly regulated and in the absence of fat, as is in the absence of sugars, we became fat-seeking machines. Just like we are sugar-seeking machines, we're fat-seeking machines. So we're fat-seeking machines and sugar-seeking machines, and that is not a good thing, folks. Uh, not a good thing, folks. Unlike sugar, we didn't really start getting into the fat business until maybe the last couple of hundred years. We really didn't start to figure out how to how, how to keep fat present. Fat's very unstable. We didn't really figure out how to stabilize fat, so it was all over until maybe a hundred years, 120 years ago, the turn of the 20th century. But again, our programming is to find fat and eat fat whenever we can. In other words, our bodies and our brains are not happy unless there's fat. But our bodies and our brains don't want any kind of fat. They don't want just mere fat. We need fats that can be used for our biochemistry. We especially need two fats that the body can't make. They're called essential fats. Whenever you hear the word essential in nutrition as in essential fatty acids or essential amino acids or essential nutrients, that's a substance that you've got to get in your diet because your body can't make it. That's a substance that has a, a critical role to play in human biochemistry, but it's not made by the body, which means we're in big trouble if we are not getting essential nutrients into our body. We're in big trouble if we're not getting essential amino acids. We're in big trouble if we're not getting essential vitamins. We're in big trouble if we're not getting essential fatty acids. In the absence of good healthy fats, in the absence of essential fats, we will become fat craving monsters. Because like sugar, fat provides a tremendous amount of energy. Fat is also extremely extremely important for biochemistry and that means two things for our health number one if we don't get fat in our diet if we're not adding good fat I'm talking about good fat here if we're not getting good fat we're not going to be healthy and we're not going to be happy 
And number two, if we don't get good fat, we are going to do whatever it takes to find that fat. And we're, if we can't find good fat, we're going to make do with whatever kind of fat we can find. And it will take the willpower of a Zen monk to be able to resist the urge to eat fat if we're deficient in fat. And don't think food manufacturers, food processors like Nabisco and, and Frito-Lay and Keebler, don't, th don't for a moment think that these food processors, these food manufacturers are not fully aware of our drives for fat and our drives for sugar. In fact, not only do they, do they, not, do they know this, they take full advantage of it. They exploit it by spiking their foods with lots of the wrong kinds of fats that will keep us going for fat, in addition to lots of sugar that will keep us going for sugar, and lots of salt and lots of hidden chemicals, excitotoxins, that will keep us addicted to their foods. All of which, all of these substances that are being added to foods, all of these substances that we're being manipulated with have drives that are hardwired in our brain. There's a reason why we can't eat just one. We're being chemically manipulated. We're like biological puppets having our, our biochemical strings pulled by biochemical puppet masters. On the other hand, the good news is, the bright side is, that all programs have a back door. All programs have an, uh, another way to access, a, a secret entrance that you can hack into. While these drives for sugar and salt and fat are built in, while they're programmed into the brain, there's a back door that we can hack into. These programs can be disabled. They can be shut off. And that's what satiety is all about. That's what satisfaction is all about. That's what appetite suppression is all about. If you try to use willpower to override these drives for sugar and fat, and salt. The odds are pretty good that you're going to fail, but you can eat more protein. You can eat a lot more protein, especially glutamine containing protein like whey or even soy protein, which is a great source of glutamine, ideally fermented soy products. You can eat meat, you can eat fish, you can eat high protein foods, and you can shut off the sugar drives via the back door. For fats, you can use MCT fats, medium chain triglyceride fats. You can get them from coconut oil or you can get straight MCT fats. Or you can use essential fatty acid liquids, you can use essential fatty acid uh, capsules, and you can hack into your body's, your brain's hardwired drive for fat. Eating more essential fatty acids, supplementing with essential fatty acids, supplementing with MCTs, medium chain triglycerides, eating coconut oil, these are ways to hack into the body's fat-seeking behavior programming. If we turn to essential fatty acids or coconut oil every time we had a fat craving, we would find ourselves over time craving less and less fat. And that means we can use our fat cravings as a guide. The good news is there's a reason we like fat. The body likes fat. The body needs fat, so eat more fat. How's that for controversial nutritional advice? Of course, I'm talking about good fat here, not Cinnabon fat. And there's a very interesting story I want to tell you about Cinnabon. We'll talk about that when we come back from a break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright if the IRS has garnished your paycheck or seized money from your bank account, you need to get professional tax help now. Fast action is required to put a halt to these aggressive IRS collection tactics. You can count on the knowledgeable team of tax professionals at Wall & Associates. With over 30 years of experience, Wall & Associates has settled the tax problems of thousands of taxpayers for a small fraction of what they owed. For a free face-to-face -face consultation, call 1-800-425-4610 to put a wall between you and the IRS. 1-800-425-4610 or look for us on the web at wallandassociates.net. We solve tax problems. If you hire Walland Associates today, you'll never have to talk to the IRS again. To stop the levies and seizures today, take action now. Call Walland Associates at 1-800-425-4610. Wall and Associates. 1-800-425-4610. Based on actual cases, results may vary. Not a solicitation for legal services. Attention taxpayers, if you've received a notice from the IRS or state, do not ignore it. It's also a big mistake to try and handle your tax problem on your own. If you owe back taxes, it's a fact that the government has the power to take everything you own, including your home, business, wages, savings, and your freedom. But here's the good news. There's a special toll-free tax hotline set up especially for you. This tax hotline will tell you about new programs that are geared to help you dramatically settle, reduce, or eliminate what you owe. But you have to call now. Take down this number or put it in your cell phone. But call 877-345-7645. That's 877 877-345-7645. 
345-7645. When you call, you get free information on how you can reduce or eliminate back taxes, including penalties and interest. You can also be helped if you have unfiled returns, a tax lien, wage garnishment, bank levy, or if you have been entered into a payment plan but can't make the payments. Don't make the big mistake in thinking you can ignore or handle your tax problem on your own. You can stop the collection process immediately at 1-877-345-7645. That's 1-877-345-7645. 1-877-345-7645. Can heart and body extract help with other ailments besides heart conditions, high blood pressure, clogged arteries, or unbalanced cholesterol? It did for Karen. I've been using heart and body extract for approximately two weeks. I've had an earwax buildup problem for many years, with over-the-counter stuff not working at all. I had very poor hearing due to this earwax buildup. Well, after two weeks of taking heart and body extract, my earwax buildup almost completely cleared up. Could this be the effect? Effective better body circulation? Heart and Body Extract is an effective 100% organic nutritional supplement specially formulated to allow your body to heal itself. My hearing is almost completely back to normal. I'm amazed. Order by calling 866 295 5305 or online at hbextract.com. That's 866 295 5305 or hbextract.com. Heart and Body Extract for a long and healthy life. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these prices. A 50 by 100 for $35,000. You heard right. That's 5,000 square feet for $35,000. Manufacturing. If you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. Lock in your price now. Call 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. By now, you may have heard a bit about Bitcoins. But did you know Bitcoins are now over an $8.5 billion market? And did you know that over 65,000 businesses now accept Bitcoins? Listen, if you're already earning Bitcoins or trying to make money in the Bitcoin market, you've got to know BidBit.co. Why? Because BidBit.co is where you can easily receive Bitcoins by selling and auctioning off your own personal items or promote business products and services for Bitcoins. You heard right. Whether personal or business, you can now buy, sell, and auction your product and services quickly, easily, and securely for Bitcoin at BidBit.co, the first and only marketplace website to offer BidBit escrow, a proprietary technology which gives buyers and sellers security and peace of mind because all transactions are protected. Start today. It's free to join, free to post, free to auction, and free to bid at BidBit.co. Buy, sell, bid, or auction everything Bitcoin. That's www.bidbit.co. BidBit.co. Free from the shackles of corporate America, we're the place for independent thinkers. GCN. Kent writes, my six-month-old grandson is plagued by numerous food allergies. Wheat, dairy, soy, eggs. Sounds typical, actually. They cause rashes all over his body. His mom has been advised to eliminate the above items good idea as she is still nursing him is are, are there any other uh, regimens or supplements that might mitigate his suffering yes sir can't get your baby on probiotics good bacteria get the mom if she's breastfeeding on probiotics and good bacteria and make sure your mom or the mom is not herself eating foods like wheat and dairy and soy and eggs that can get passed into the breast milk when a baby is born nature has designed a system the divine force being wise always has designed a system where babies good bacteria will be set up for life by 
factors that are in breast milk. If those factors are not in breast milk, there will be serious problems in the baby's digestive tract for the rest of the baby's life. And so it will become extremely important that that baby becomes, uh, a f- becomes very familiar with nutritional supplementation with probiotics, good bacteria. There's lots of different ones that you can use for babies. Good bacteria are non-toxic, so you don't have to worry about adult dosing with good bacteria. You may want to, uh, if the baby's not eating solid food, it's going to be a little bit trickier. You may need to find some liquid probiotics. In any case, can't get your baby on or get your grandbaby on a good probiotic supplement. That would be my recommendation. Uh, and as far as protein goes, when uh, the baby's weaned off of breast milk, and you want the baby to stay on breast milk as long as possible, uh, but when the 